what SPF is good under makeup, over makeup, in between during the day, what can we wear on our body, what can we wear on our face, what's the best. These are the best ones that I have picked out. Let's get into that video right now. Hi friends, I am super happy to be with you today because we are going over SPFs and we are getting into the super hot months in the States and that means that we're thinking about that a lot more. We show a lot more skin. We are out a lot more in the sun outdoors. We're doing more activities. So we need to be thinking about what we need to do to make sure our skin is protected. Yes. And I'm also very excited about this video because it is a collaboration with another YouTuber named Melanie and her channel is Mr. Kong's mom cute username. She has the cutest pugs you've ever seen. You need to go to her Instagram and look at her dogs. You guys know that I'm a dog lover. She's a dog lover. We met through Penny from Penn Smith Skincare. Um, they're good friends and I did a collab with them both and Melanie and I just kind of made a friendship and we've kind of kept it going a little bit through Instagram and seeing each other's posts and we are dog lovers like I said and that's kind of bonded us together a little bit. She is a beautiful, beautiful woman. First of all, she has this gorgeous silver gray hair which is absolutely breathtaking when you see her and she does such fun videos on her YouTube channel. She not only does like skincare, makeup, that kind of thing, but she does household things too home fragrance, home decor, that different kind of stuff. It's so much fun. She has such a great variety on her channel and I just love that about her channel. So please go over, show her some love, tell her that I sent you and make sure you leave a comment on her video and subscribe. Now, if you are coming over from Melanie's channel, I want to say welcome to you. Thank you so much for coming by. I hope that you do enjoy the content. I have a ton of videos up and most of my videos are geared towards makeup for the over 40 woman. I do a lot of skincare videos, but a lot of it is makeup tutorials, doing reviews, and I stick to a lot of affordable makeup too, um, just because that's what I get drawn to. So I hope that you do decide to subscribe and stick around and check out my content. Thanks for being here and all of my regular faithful subscribers. I do appreciate you so much. Thank you for being here with me too. That was a long introduction. Let's get into the sunscreen that we need for this summer. Uh, actually, all the time. Let's get into that. All right. I have several favorites, but I really needed to narrow this down to five because that's what Melanie and I kind of decided on. So I'm going to give a few honorable mentions, but right now I am absolutely in love with this from Can Make. This is a mermaid skin gel UV SPF protection of 50 plus PA and then four pluses afterwards. And it says for face and body. And I probably don't use this on my body. I have another one that I actually like to spray on, but this one for the face is amazing. It is a mineral sunscreen and it is a little bit hydrating. I do have very dry skin, more normal skin in the summertime, but this one is awesome because it feels very water-like, very light to the touch, and it sinks into your skin, but it doesn't dry out because it doesn't have any alcohols in it. And the ingredient deck did look good on it. It is mineral-based, like I said, but it does sink into the skin very easy. It sits beautifully under makeup because it doesn't really have that white cast at all. As you can see, it's just sinking into my skin. And again, it does feel hydrating. So there are days during the summer when I'll just use Use some of my essences and then I'll skip my moisturizer and just use this in the winter time I use my extra moisturizer but sometimes I just use this in the summertime and it just sinks in it dries down it's absolutely beautiful it doesn't ball up underneath foundation I love this stuff and I love that it's so affordable on Amazon the next one I want to talk about is another one that has a moisturizer in it this is from dermatology and this is their tinted moisturizer SPF 46 and this is in universe Universal tint and this also has anti-aging ingredients in it. I love this stuff right now I've only been able to find it on the dermatology website Dermatology a long time ago sent me a lot of products, but they didn't send me this This is the one that I wanted the most to try and when I finally got a hold of it I was like this is awesome I'm not really crazy about the tint the tint doesn't do anything you could get the regular one, but I do like the 
feel of this one so much better than the regular one this one again it just sinks into the skin it's absolutely lovely but i also love that it's chocked full of really good anti-aging ingredients and this one sits underneath makeup beautifully as well never any balling up never any problem with anything like that i really really love this and this is the one that i reach for when i want a little bit extra moisturizer in the winter time so i don't use the extra moisturizer i just use this in the summertime but you get that great spf in it beautiful product i have loved this for a long time and i think this is my third or fourth one that i really really like now switching gears over to what would go under your makeup that you could wear as a sunscreen as well as a primer i actually have two products this is my number one love that i found such a long time ago and this one is from revlon this is the color stay prep and protect primer this one has an spf of 34 and this is mineral based as well the reason that i love this one so much is it's very thin again but it just spreads out it has a tiny bit of dimethicone in it so you're going to get that little bit of pore filling you're going to get the perfecting on it that is a white cast it is mineral based so you do have that little bit of a white cast on it but you can see that it just goes into my skin and it doesn't show up that white cast after you work it in just a little bit this is a great primer it is a great sunscreen and i love that it's a double duty and you're going to find that a lot of these products that i have here are double duty products because it just saves time it saves an extra step if i'm in the summertime i'm going to use an extra spf i'm going to always do that but in the winter time and when i'm indoors most of the time or when you know you're wearing a lot more clothes this kind of thing where it's a double dose of like primer plus the spf is so great this one's beautiful under makeup i've had it for a long time if you want to go higher and that is from city beauty and this is the skin perfecting daily veil sunscreen and this has an spf of 39 in it and again this has some really great ingredients too this is a little bit heavier so i probably would be more inclined to wear this a a little bit more in the winter time but this is a beautiful sunscreen you can see really quickly how that's going to perfect my skin the primer part of it you can feel the dimethicone or the silicone in it that's going to help even out your skin and just show a very blurred effect both of them really have blurred out my skin and have done a really great job and like i said this one is a little bit thicker it's not part of the five that i picked this is the honorable mention just wanted to make sure that you knew that then we get to okay i've got my makeup on during the day i know that sunscreen doesn't last all day long how do i get something that will protect my skin during the day but it doesn't disrupt my makeup in walks milani and this is such a good spray on sunscreen this is the make it last sunscreen with the spf of 30 in it broad spectrum this does have a funky smell if you are adverse to smells and you don't like smells at all then don't pick this up because it does have a funky smell i'm sure it's the chemical in it and i know yes this is a chemical sunscreen but i love that this doesn't disrupt my makeup if i've got to go to an outdoor wedding if i've got a, something that's going on outdoors and i need to really quickly do something to protect my skin I'm going to pick this up. There are a lot of them that you can spray on that are just, you know, for body and whatnot, but a lot of them will disrupt your makeup. This baby won't. This is such a good sunscreen. And what's really nice, you just saw me spray it. Spray on it is super fine. So again, it's not going to disrupt your makeup. The other thing is it does have the setting spray in it. So if you wanted to do this as your last step before you go out the door as your sunscreen, you can do that as well. But great that it doesn't disrupt your makeup. Everybody had kind of talked about color science and their brush on mineral sunscreen that was the mineral sunscreen that you could use during the day to touch up that's what this that's what this is from derma e and again this is an spf of 30 i love that and it just brushes on and you can use it during the day for your touch-ups and you can use it for whatever else you need and i don't know if you can see it or not but you can see that there's a little bit coming out right there it just comes out in the middle and as you dust it around a little bit more comes out until you have exactly how much you need on and it just works really great and the reason that it works so great is because it is that mineral sunscreen 
sunscreen like a bare minerals or those kinds of um, makeups that are powder they do have that natural sunscreen in it and they've boosted it in this one and the nice thing about it is that if you need a touch up during the day where you're feeling like stuff is breaking through this will help with that as well and i just think it's so nice and i've been through several of these in the summertime you know again this is great if you just want to rush to the bathroom and reapply your sunscreen it's really good and it's not heavy at all it's not cakey at all on top of your makeup you're not disrupting your makeup you're actually making your makeup look a little bit more flawless and that's what i love about this and it's not that expensive compared to the color science one either the other thing that i will say is that sometimes it's a little bit hard to get that brush back in but you can do it and it stays really nice so that is the last one that i had on my list again please go over and show melanie some love tell her that i sent you i hope that you do enjoy her content Thanks so much for being with me today. If you have any questions about any sunscreens, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you have a favorite sunscreen, I'm always open to hearing those suggestions. You guys know that I love to try out your suggestions. Thanks so much for being with me. Love you very much, and I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye, friends.